it was early 2019 and I was sewing. Um, one of my close friends also started sewing at the same time. So we would like sew clothes um, for ourselves and like do photo. She's a photographer. So we would do like photo shoots. And it was really fun because, you know, we'd like share patterns and fabric and all this stuff. And I actually, my boss's grandma gifted me a quilt that she had because I had this idea. I had the idea of doing it. And I was like, oh, I need to find a quilt. And I was looking for like months and months and I couldn't find one. And she mentioned it to her grandma and her grandma was like, she could have this one. And so that was my first. I'm actually looking at it right now on my oh. on my rack. That was my first jacket that I made. And I wore it constantly and I would get so many compliments, like more compliments on that than I got on most things I own. <laughs> sure. So that's why in my head, you know, in my head, I was like, oh, well, people like this. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should, you know, and everyone would ask, like, do you like make those a sell? And I'm like, no. So but it wasn't until like mid pandemic, like mid 2020 that I actually started sewing them to sell like that fall. So for me, like finding vintage textiles. Um, quilts especially is very special because it's like you know somebody else put however many hours into this amazing piece of art and I've never quilted so I don't that's a bit too much for my <laughs> for sure. my taste but I really appreciate like um, these other you know artists that are making these amazing things and so um, I get really excited when I find textiles like that the older the better and then I guess the idea to make um those kinds of things into clothing that people can wear is just the idea of like making a new life out of something that mm -hmm. is you know for whatever reason just a bit too worn and used and old to really be what it you know its intended purpose sure um so for quilts you know i try to use ones that are have holes or are really worn and then cut those in a way where um you know you can still use them and wear them and um i think you know and then it's, it's just so special because someone's now wearing like this you know 50 year old quilt that mm -hmm. like you never like i'm sure the maker never thought that it would go this long yeah. let alone be like worn and then go another who knows 10 20 years and it's just really it's sustainability um for me that's like a form of sustainability in fashion that I really appreciate is just reusing and repurposing.